Hey, this is Josh at the CD Monastery. Uh, one of our missed patrons had asked how we use MG Skin Tools for facial wetting, and I wanted to give it a quick demo. Um, I do have it connected to the um, our UI, but it won't actually pop up unless you have the um, the tool installed. Um, let's see. Let me just talk for a second. Um, so I get Drake here. I have been working on skinning. You see, yes, it's Dre Verts. I can fix that later. Actually, I can show you how I fix that here in a second. So one thing that I do regularly when I'm doing um, doing this is so if I wanted to let me turn on my direct joint so you can see that. So here's the actual joint position. What you'll see is actually as I do the seal, they get closed. So if I wanted to have this to be harsher, and I probably do, uh, on the next iteration, I'm moving these joints a little bit, so I was playing with stuff. But So let me pull this up. So in these skin tools, I'm going to load up the uh, lips, and I'm going to say I want the lower lip two. And I'm going to select these verts and that's fine so i'm on lower lip left two which is this joint and i'm going to go to edit influences and i'm going to use soft selection native soft selection i'm going to assign some weights and by just um assigning it i can assign added a value here, which is just really handy for being able to, to control how things taper. Um, because soft selection gives you a lot of control. You can, you know, you get all the Maya tools for that. Um, you can you know, manually change your settings for your soft selection and whatnot. So I can just assign those weights. I want to have more weight there. And then the relax feature is just really, really good. So see how it's kind of bunched up here. If I wanted this to be less bunched up, I can just go to relax and then just relax it in here a little bit. Um, so that's that's one way we use it. So say I wanted to get rid of this, uh, this vert here. Um, I could, uh, let's see. There's a couple ways to handle that. I'll, I'll come back to that. But say I wanted to, I'm not sure my, I have a commercial license. I'm not sure if it's not showing up here. Um, the, um, I'm going to add a new layer. So I'm going to set a new simple layer. Let's show you kind of how this works. And we'll do this um, lower lip. So initially I had a bunch of layers when I did a pass, um, but I had baked it all down to a single layer for um, the last release and so it's just um it's not all showing up here let me go ahead and use my mark mini to reset that okay so if i wanted to do a new uh, lower lip layer and so when, when i would i do lids or um, lip this is something that i do and so i would let, select uh the the corners and the lower lips, center lower lip, where's the right corner, on the right lower lip, there we go. So now I've got these joints selected, right? So I'm going to edit weights, and on this case I'm going to not use soft selection, and I'm going to use high, and I'm just going to assign these weights verbatim, just assign them. <laughs> And so we're going to see some, something pretty weird, but it will make sense in a moment. So if I move this, you see it's assigned the weights through the whole thing, the paint. And then show current influences. And then so if I just show this, you see it's it's. It's just assigned the weights through the, the whole mesh. 
So you're like, well, that's that's worthless. Why would I want to do that? Well, it's not worthless if you use the layer mask. So what I'm going to do now is to just um, flood this with zero value on the mask. So I'm going to flood this to zero. And so what that's going to mean is that it doesn't do anything. It's back to the... Um, um, it's back to the uh, the weights of the, the base layer because nothing's on here. So then what I would do for the this the, the layer mask on the lower lip, I would just go in here and I would just select some verts. Let me turn on here and do that again. Well, let me reset that so it's not. Grow it a couple times, and then I'd go to my mask and I'd say edit weights, signs, oscillation. That's fine. And then assign it. And so what that's going to do is paint. Why aren't you showing that? Oh, we don't have any value. Let's see, I'll just do it this way. I'm gonna flood that. So that's my layer mask, I just flooded it, right? So now this mask has value. So this is actually doing something, right? But I have fall off here, I don't want this to do it. So I can turn this layer off to see what the one below it does. And so there's the one below it. And this is the layer I'm on. So then what I would do is to come back Uh, grow the selection. And I'm going to give that flood. I'm going to turn that to zero. And there. So now I'm going to start to tighten that up on the lip. And then I can come back to these again. Now, now that I have the mask, I don't have to worry so much about the. Um, the selection so we can just go back to this and I could go back to my joints again uh, corner corner lower 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 and then go back to assign weights and then assign there we go and now those weights are just assigned from that so I would polish them here but it's just an easy way to mask off areas that you're working on uh, I can't some of the stuff that I've been working on lately I can't really show um, but what I tend to do is I, I would have a uh, like a lip layer an upper a lower lip and an upper lip layer I'd have an upper lid and a lower lid layer and then the mirroring tools are really good on uh, ng skin and also I use um, uh, the export weights and import weights and when I import them, as long as you're not changing the, me the mesh, you can do, let me try to pull this up real quick. One sec. I'm back. As long as you do not change the, uh, the mesh itself, I use the uh, Vertex ID, and it, it's a pretty spot, spot on uh, transfer method um, to be able to get it over. And so you can fix your mapping if things are off. Because uh, like this data file is from uh, the December build, and so I, some of the joint names would change. So I just went through and had to map them. So what that means is like if I needed to map the, uh, this is the old one, the upper lip corner is now uh, left lip corner. You just link it, and then it gets mapped, and then you, you know, say done, and it transfers the weights. Let's see what else. Uh, relax is huge. Uh, and then the layer. So I would have, um, like, if you have a character with, um, you know, we're working like the arm transition to the chest is an issue sometimes. So I'll make this an arm layer. 
and you just can have a mask to have it fall off into the chest so you're not worrying about it affecting other things. But the um, assigned weights with fall off, the relax mirror, um, the relax functionality, and the mirror functionality is just huge, as well as the layers being able to. It, it lets you deal with uh, skinning like it's uh, you know layers in Photoshop rather than just a single uh, layer in um, in Maya. So it's super handy. Hope this is helpful and um, enjoy and support NG Skin Tools because it's awesome.